Hello Internet, welcome to NS2 installation tutorial on Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. Uh, this being the latest version of Ubuntu uh, offers some challenges during the installation of NS2. The first step is to download NS all in one 2.35 tar file. You can download it from this link which you'll find in the description section of the video also and we need to place this uh, zipped file in the home folder it's very important I'll tell you later once that is done we can unzip it using the instruction tar minus x v z f and this all in one 2.35 tar dot g z all right then we need to install some additional libraries using sudo apt get so this is going to be your second instruction install build essential autoconf automake lib xmu dash dev all right you you need to enter this will be user password and it's going to start installing the dependencies or the essential components needed for NS2 to work and this could take a minute or so Now I've noticed that the installation of GCC 4.4 which is the compiler for NS2, the C compiler for NS2 which used to be an essential component uh, for the installation of NS2 is no longer required in 16.04 Ubuntu. So I've tried that. I'll show you here if you try to install sudo apt get install GCC 4.4 you would not be able to do that but you do not have to worry about that you can skip that skip step and will still be able to use ns2 anyway Okay, so you can skip this. Then you need to go to NS all in one NS two point three five and link state folder. There we'll need to edit ls dot h file file. So we can use gedit ls dot h. and you'll need to go to line number 137 and in front of this erase we'll need to add this followed by an arrow I do not know the rationale behind this but I've been doing this since I used to install Ubuntu uh, install NS2 on Ubuntu 10 so this is like one important step here this 
then you could save the file and close it. Now we are good to go. We need to install NS All-in-One now. F for that we'll need to go to NS All-in-One 2.35 folder and run the install command from there. Because we are already logged in as super users so we can run dot slash install and this is going to start installing the NS2 on the machine. This process is a long process. This could take around five to six minutes. And uh, after the process, we'll we'll just need to add the path variables in bash rc file, which is very important because we would want to use NS uh, to simulate or from any location on the PC. We'll make the simulation files and place the simulation files uh, in any location, not just in the NS installation folder. So the um, library paths and TCL paths, NAM paths, they should be defined in a global location, which is bash RC so that we can run NS2 from any location on the PC and uh, it's gonna give you a message after the installation also that uh, you need to paste these path variables in bash rc file but I'll give you a list of all the path variables you can simply copy it and replace the name of the user and paste it in bash rc file for example uh, the path variable will have mm, the path as slash home slash nipun haritash so you'll need to replace nipun haritash with your username on the machine and that is why it is important to place this in the home folder because otherwise the path length will become longer. So Xcraft, NAM, TCL library, everything, all the paths are specified here. This is the important notice which the installation process gives. I'm going to copy this into a text file for my reference. It's asking me to put these path variables in the path environment file. Now the bash rc file is located in the home folder. So we'll need to move out of this folder, go to home, and we can simply run gedit dot bash rc. Alright, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'll place all the path variables down at the bottom. paste it here and then I'll you just need to be sure that you change the username Nippon Haritash with your own name I'm gonna save it and quit this now I'll have to restart the machine if if we do not want to use the validate command we can simply restart the machine to pause the video and all right the machine is restarted we'll go to terminal again we'll type ns and if percentage sign shows up or oh yes uh, congratulations you've just installed ns2 on the latest 
version of Ubuntu and I've got a sample file here that we can check and the NAM window opens up just fine and I'm going to run this simulation and that runs just fine and so this is how you can install NS2 on Ubuntu 16 with an exception of skipping uh, the GCC part and rest everything is almost similar as previous version installation and I hope this tutorial was helpful thank you so much for watching the video have a good day good life bye bye